We're bidding farewell to one of our most respected and beloved members, Senator Daniel Akaka of Hawaii, or as we all know him as Danny. With his retirement, our friend is bringing to a close a remarkable and distinguished career in public service spanning nearly seven decades. Having witnessed as a 17-year-old boy the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, he took a civilian job with the Army Corps of Engineers before joining the United States Army <coughs> in 1945. We honor him, along with his senior colleague from Hawaii, Senator Inouye, and Senator Lautenberg, as the only veterans of World War II still serving in the Senate. Not surprisingly, Senator Kaka has been a leader on veterans' issues. He served as chairman of the Committee on Veterans Affairs in the 110th and 111th Congresses, and he remained active on that committee despite relinquishing his chairmanship in the current Congress in order to chair the Committee on Indian Affairs. We will not soon forget Senator Akaka's retort when another senator was holding up a package of veterans' benefits, de demanding that the costs of the veterans' benefits be offset. Senator Akaka calmly, very deliberately argued that the costs did not need an offset because, and here I quote, the price has already been paid many times over by the service of the brave men and women who wore our nation's uniform, end quote. Needless to say, Senator Akaka carried the day. Senator Akaka has played a leading role in demanding improvements in the handling of post-traumatic stress disorder and traumatic brain injuries sustained by servicemen and women. And in 2009, he joined with Senator Inouye in securing compensation for Filipino veterans of World War II who fought for the United States. Senator Akaka is the only ethnic Native Hawaiian to serve in this body. Throughout his congressional career, including four years in the House and 22 years in the Senate, he has been a determined and passionate advocate for the people of his state of Hawaii. He has fought for legislation that would grant federal recognition to ethnic Native Hawaiians, the same recognition we have granted to American Indians and native Alaskans. In 1993, President Clinton signed a resolution sponsored by Senator Akaka, officially apologizing on behalf of the United States government for overthrowing Hawaii's last monarch a century earlier. Mr. President, in so many ways, Senator Akaka represents the Senate at its very best, the way it used to be in less partisan times. He works tirelessly behind the scenes. He shuns the media limelight. He prides himself on reaching across the aisle and forging honorable compromises. He is the ultimate gentleman, and his word is his bond. Mr. President, across the many years, Danny Akaka has been a wonderful friend and colleague. And of course, that friendship will continue, but I will miss him here in the Senate. And I join with the entire Senate family in wishing Danny and Millie all the best in the years ahead. <laughs> 